Hulk Hogan was bigger than life, and yet we find out that he struggled for years with chronic health issues. I'm going to break down the science behind his conditions. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, nitric oxide biochemist and physiologist. The autopsy reports that Hulk Hogan died of myocardial infarction, which means an acute heart attack. But it also revealed that he suffered with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and he had a condition called atrial fibrillation. And so dealing with these issues for a number of years basically is what led to his acute cardiac arrest. And when we start to look at what's causing these, so chronic lymphocytic leukemia is typically caused from an exposure to an environmental toxicant. There's something in the body that's transforming the lymphocytes. And this occurs in leukemia, in lymphomas. And so we have to, again, it goes back to the basic principles. People get sick for two reasons and two reasons only. Your body's missing something that it needs or it's exposed to a toxin that's causing a transformation of cells or disrupting normal cellular metabolism. So his AFib, typically what we're finding is atrial fibrillation is a disruption in electrical conductivity of the heart. And it's typically caused from too much calcium, too little magnesium. And we know from the NHAN study that 75% of Americans don't get enough magnesium in their diet. If we're low in magnesium, high in calcium, these divalent cations are out of balance, it causes electrical disturbances most commonly manifest as atrial fibrillation. So again, that can be explained typically from a lack of magnesium. And the chronic lymphocytic leukemia, probably due to some toxicant that his body was exposed to. But again, without toxicology reports and what knowing what that is, and until you address that, you're not going to deal and fix the, the leukemia. So again, I think it was shocking to all of us who, would, you know, I grew up in the 80s of a, a huge Hulk Hogan fan. He looked healthy. He appeared healthy. He was still active to his last days. So no one, no one would ever realize or even assume that he had chronic health issues. But that just goes to show you that, you know, people deal with things behind the scenes that may not be obvious to all of us or any of us or even his physicians for that matter. So again, I think it's important to pay attention to what you're eating, pay attention to what you're exposed to, make sure you're getting adequate nutrition. I encourage people to do a micronutrient analysis uh, once a year to see what their body's missing and then supplement missing essential nutrients that the body may be missing. Also, pay attention to what your body is exposed to, environmental toxins, toxins that are found on food, you know, your workplace, occupational toxins. Depending upon your occupation, you may be exposed to things. Mold, mycotoxins in your home. These are all things that we have to pay attention to and mitigate those, remediate them if you're exposed to them because it will eventually catch up to you. And I think that's what happened to Hulk Hogan, acute myocardial infarction, but, you know, now knowing what we know, we could have predicted that. He didn't resolve his AFib. He didn't resolve his chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And eventually it caused sudden cardiac death. It's unfortunate, but looking back now, hindsight's 2020. But we, we have to pay attention to our body. You know, unfortunately, the, the AFib that um, Hulk Hogan suffered from is on the increase. The incidence of atrial fibrillation in the U.S. population or the global population is on the rise. What we're finding is it could be a very simple fix. If we just titrate up the magnesium to bowel tolerance, a lot of times this is 500 to 600 milligrams, sometimes 700 milligrams at night before bed, most of the time the atrial fibrillation goes away because we're affecting the electrical conductance of it and correcting that imbalance of magnesium to calcium. So pay attention to that. Consult your physician. Atrial fibrillation is a very serious condition that needs medical attention. But please ask your physician about the use of magnesium.